Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a one hour glam transformation. So I'm literally in a t-shirt and leggings right now, but this is like the time where I love to be most glam when I'm comfy. I actually was playing with makeup the other day and I was using my Tati Beauty palette and I created like this pink glitter smoky eye and I loved the way that it turned out and I'm like, I gotta recreate that on my channel. I feel like this could be a really good like going out look and I'll show you guys how to create it. It's super simple, but I really love the way that it turned out. So hopefully it turns out really good today. So I definitely encourage you guys to get ready with me so definitely grab your brushes grab your makeup if not then grab a snack and let's get glam together okay let's get into it so like I said I filmed this look like two days ago like just casually playing with makeup and I probably still have a little bit of glitter on my face left over because I feel like that always happens but let's jump into the brows like always I'm just gonna kind of speed through this really quickly because you guys have seen this a million times but I'm gonna use the arches and halos micro defining brow pencil you can get this at Target I've been talking about this like non-stop but it's just so good so I'm gonna just outline and then fill in my brows with a pomade which is from the same brand so how is everybody doing tomorrow is valentine's day or not tomorrow tomorrow's galentine's day actually like you know the girls version of valentine's day the 13th which is when you guys are going to watch this video but friday is valentine's day and this is hector and i's first holiday as husband and wife which is very exciting i don't think we're going to do anything crazy i think i kind of want to go like bowling and go out to eat like just super low-key super simple but let me know down below what you guys are doing if you have any plans valentine's day was always super cute like growing up because like in elementary school you would put like little cards and candy in like each person's bag like in you know in each person's mailbox i think it was at the time it was so cute so like i said i'm going to use the same arches and halos brow pomade and i have this new brush from profusion so they came out with these new brushes and they almost remind me of something high-end they're such good quality even like the handles and the way that they feel it's like really nice but this is their angled eyebrow brush it's the eb1 and i definitely recommend checking these out so these were sent to me in pr so i don't know where you can get them i'm pretty sure probably just on profusion's website but check them out i will link them down below because i've been using them and loving them they're so good so I've been thinking more and more about getting microblading and every time I like want to go and do it I'm just like ooh, it's like I just don't that's for a couple of reasons so like you guys know microblading is expensive I know like prices vary and everything but it's not even so much the fact that it's expensive I mean like it is but for me it's like the fact that like I don't want to spend money on something that a I'm not gonna like or b like if I get like an allergic reaction or something like I don't know my skin can be a little sensitive at times so that kind of like worries me but I don't know like I've thought about microblading for a very long time probably like two years to be honest I'm just nervous let me know your thoughts I feel like with people like you either love it or you hate it like it's like never like an in-between thing it's almost like with lash extensions like you either love them or you hate them but for me actually lash extensions I'm kind of like in between like I feel like they're really pretty maybe for like vacation like for me personally because then you don't have to worry about like doing your makeup or anything but like for like an everyday basis for me I don't love lash extensions just because I love lashes and I like doing like different eyeshadow looks and stuff. I'm just using my ColourPop no filter foundation stick and I'm trying not to use too much product. Okay, I just cleaned them up a little bit, just like with the tiniest bit of foundation. Okay, so now I'm gonna move into the eyes. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer. I just did like a testing new drugstore makeup video and I wanna use this again. It just looks like this. I got a couple of comments from you guys saying like some of you guys love it, some of you guys don't like it. So I feel like it's like one of those either you hate it or you love it products. I am kinda like whatever with it. Like I like it. I don't see anything wrong with it. I mean it's almost like a MAC Painterly Paint Pot, which I mentioned in that video, just because it is a little bit on the thick side. If you don't like thick primers on your lids, you probably won't like this. If you want something a little bit more lightweight, I recommend something like the NYX Proof It Eyeshadow Base, which looks like this, because it's just like a traditional eyeshadow primer that's not gonna like be as thick as this one. But the good thing about this is if you have a lot of discoloration, this is gonna cover that up for you, and it's gonna make everything look super even. So I'm gonna use my Tati Beauty Volume 1 Textured Neutrals Palette Today. I love this palette. I actually hit pan one of the glitters already because I just love the glitters so much. So I'm gonna start off with the light transition color in here. Do you hear the motorcycle? Every time I film, they're always just out there. But I'm gonna take this shade and I'm just gonna apply that in my crease. I 
I just love this palette. Every time I use this, I'm just always blown away by the quality, the pigmentation. It's so buttery, it's so creamy. And I just love the shades in here. I feel like this palette could be really good for like an everyday person, somebody who likes more glam looks, for makeup artists, like just really for anybody. I was also getting a lot of questions about me testing out the Blendiful. So I was originally going to get it to like review on my channel for you guys, but I feel like by the time I would have gotten it, there was already like so many videos like online. I'm like, nobody's even gonna care at this point for my review because there was probably at least like when I looked up like Tati Blendiful, when I was gonna order it, the people who already got it in PR, there was probably at least, I feel like like 15 videos already up on it. So I'm like, mm, but I kind of want to try it now just because like it looks really good like based off of the videos that I did see a lot of people are really loving it which for me was like really shocking because I know a lot of people they're like me like they are so loyal to like their beauty sponge like for me my elf total face sponge is like my holy grail so I can't imagine loving another product as much as like a sponge to apply my liquid products but if you guys have tried it let me know your thoughts I am thinking about getting it just because again I've seen such good reviews on it but like just for myself to try it out, but I don't know, let me know. I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm just gonna apply that in my crease. These are so easy to blend, like they really are. Like even if you are starting out with makeup, I feel like this is a really great palette to like splurge on just because the colors really do blend seamlessly. Like you don't have to put a lot of effort or have like amazing blending skills to work with these shades. Like you just see, you just place the color and it kind of just blends effortlessly. A lot of it I feel like has to do with the tools that you're using. Honestly, I always say this, but I feel like you can really make almost any product work as long as you have the right tools. And I've actually done a couple of videos on like my favorite affordable and like drugstore makeup brushes. So if you're interested, I will link my recent one down below. I use a lot of the same brushes. I haven't really tried like a ton of new brushes besides the ones from Profusion that I mentioned, but I pretty much use a lot of the same ones because honestly with makeup brushes, you don't need to constantly like repurchase. Like I know I'm always testing out new ones, but like realistically makeup brushes do typically last a really long time. Okay, so I have that color that I brought up a little bit far up in my crease. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the warm orangey color. What is up with my fingers? Okay. I'm going to go into this shade right here. It's a very bright orange, so definitely tap off the excess when using this. And I'm just going to run that right in the crease. I really want the crease to be super warm and just very blown out. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit of brown just to add some more definition. So I'm gonna go into this deep chocolate brown in here, which when you start building this color up, it's almost like a black, like it's crazy. The brown and the black in here alone, I feel like are worth splurging on, to be honest. They're such great dark shades. I feel like a black and brown is like essential in any palette. So I'm gonna just take the brown and I'm gonna start applying that just right on the outer. V of my eye a little bit, just like right there, just to make that pop. And then once we add the glitter, I feel like that's really gonna stand out. Whenever I use this color, I'm like, did I dip into the black or the brown? Like, that's how dark it is, it's crazy. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna add the lid shades. So, ugh, this palette's huge, okay. I'm gonna go into this shimmery pink right here, which I love. I'm gonna dip my brush in first, and then I'm gonna spray it, just because I feel like you just get the best effect. And I like to do this with all of my shadows, drugstore and high-end. And I'm gonna just take that and start really packing on the color. Like this alone is perfect. You don't even need the glitter, but the glitter is really gonna take this to like several notches up. 
So with me, I really love to match my makeup with what I'm wearing. So like today I'm wearing a green t-shirt, but it has a little bit of pink right here. So I just feel like, I don't know, it kind of just complements everything really well. The other day when I did this, I was actually wearing a pink shirt as well. I know a lot of people don't like to match what they're wearing with their makeup, but I personally do. Not necessarily like, let's say I wouldn't have like a green smoky eye on right now, like matching it exactly, but I like to take certain colors in what I'm wearing and like match it with the overall makeup. And by the way, this t-shirt, I got it from Target last year. Okay, so that is pretty much it for like the shimmery or metallic shade. I keep calling it a shimmer. To me, everything's a shimmer, but it's metallic. And now I'm gonna take the pink glitter right here, which you can see I did hit pan on. I love this pink glitter. This is beautiful. And I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna also use my brush. I'm gonna dip in here ever so lightly and I'm gonna give it a good spray. There is gonna be some fallout, but I'm gonna take care of it. A couple of you guys told me in one of my last videos that scotch tape removes glitter, so that's what I've been doing. Elf eye tapes are on. I'm gonna do some smoked out black winged liner, but I'm gonna use eyeshadow instead, so it looks a little bit less harsh and more smoky. Like I said, the black in here is just absolutely incredible. This is the blackest black I've ever used personally in an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do winged liner. But again, I'm just gonna use the eyeshadow. So to do this, I'm gonna use this angled brush. This is just an angled brow brush and this one's actually from Profusion as well. I'm just adding a little bit more of that brown right on the outer crease. And then I'm gonna use a fluffy little brush. I'm gonna take more of that black and I'm gonna kinda like smudge it out. How crazy is it? It literally looks as black as like a gel eyeliner. All right, cool. That's pretty much it honestly for the eyeshadow. I'm just gonna do of course lashes, mascara. I'm gonna do some mascara. I need some extra black mascara just because this look is like extra smoky. So of course I'm gonna do my ColourPop Volumizing Mascara, the BFF. And this one is just in the shade black on black. Also going to tight line my upper waterline because that's necessary. That way there's no gaps in between your falsies and then your upper waterline. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop BFF Cream Gel Liner. This one is just in the shade Swerve. These are the lashes that I'm going to be using today, and these are in the style Bad Gal. And these are faux mink lashes, and they just look like this. Super pretty, very wispy, very dramatic, but I feel like that's, that's what I need. Okay, the look is really coming along. I'm super impressed with it so far. So good. Let's move into the skin, which is like my favorite part about doing my makeup. I just love watching everything transform. I love eyeshadow, but like I could definitely live without eyeshadow, which is crazy because I do love it, but skin is everything. So I'm gonna just prep my skin with the LA Girl Primer Spray. Now for primer, I'm gonna use this again because I used it in my last video and one of you guys told me that this is amazing and you love it and it prolongs your makeup and you told me to use it alone without the primer oil, because I used the e.l.f. All The Feels facial oil, and I used this together, the Puff Puff Primer. So this is what we're gonna use today. So yeah, this is what it looks like. You can find it at Target. I just wasn't a fan of the way that it made my skin feel, because it almost feels like SPF, which, not really my vibe, to be honest with you. I'm a big, like, consistency person. Like, I have to like the way a product feels on my face for me to like really love it too. But I always do give products a chance a couple of times before like determining if I love it or hate it, you know what I mean? So now for foundation, I'm gonna switch it up from my usual wet and wild dewy foundation because like you guys know I've been using that in like every video. I'm gonna use the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Foundation, which looks like this. This is gonna be, I don't even know. I've been testing this out for like the past week and I wanna say it's gonna be like my fourth time using it. And I actually like it, like I don't hate it. I like the moussey consistency. It's a pretty like natural medium coverage, so it's not gonna be like super intense and heavy on the skin. It does give you some coverage. 
It's a really like lightweight, airy foundation and mine's in the shade M55 and it does match me really well as you can see. If there's any other new foundations that you guys want me to test out, let me know down below in the comments because that's one of my favorite things to test out, that and probably concealer. And I know everybody's always like, why do you love full coverage if you already have really good skin? Which, thank you guys so much, by the way. You are always so sweet to me in the comments and I really do appreciate it. Obviously, as a person grows, the love grows and then sometimes the negativity also tends to grow. But the good always outweighs the bad with you guys and I just really always appreciate it because like, you know, life is crazy. The world is a very negative, nasty place. But you guys always show me love and I really do appreciate it. I know that I am so backed up on comments because I've just been uploading and filming so much that I haven't gotten the chance to like actually sit down and respond to every single one of you. But just know that I do read comments and I really do appreciate you guys. So thank you. But going back to like my point that I was trying to make, <laughs> the reason I love full coverage and like skin so much is just because I just love watching the whole transformation and just... I love full coverage. I don't know. I feel like whenever I'm doing a very dramatic look like today, I need full coverage for it to look complete. And by the way, my skin is not perfect. Like you guys are too kind, but I have blackheads and peach fuzz, which I do, you know, shave my face once a month, but my skin is not perfect. The blackheads is like one of the things that really I hate about my skin. I get them on my nose a lot. And like on my chin, like right here. Okay, now for concealer, I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I know that I keep using this. I keep using a lot of the same products. This is my problem. This is why, like, in a way, I guess it's good that I'm constantly testing out new makeup because I sometimes can get into a rut with my products. Like, once I discover something that I love, like that Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation, like, I just can't stop using it. Because I'm like, I don't have a reason to, but then I'm like, um... No, you do have a reason. You have a YouTube channel and you can't keep talking about the same product for six months straight. But this concealer is really nice. I think I like this one more than the original just because it is more hydrating and it feels really good on the skin. It is super creamy. If you didn't like the original, try this hydrating one because it's really, really nice. The formula is great. Speaking of using the same products again, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This has just been the one that I've been using like every single day. If I'm doing like a very natural, minimal makeup look or something like today, this is just the one that I've been using. And this doesn't have any flashback, which is nice. This one is in the shade light and I feel like medium is gonna be too dark for me. And so I need like light medium. So I do wish they had more like in between shades or that they had like one shade for all, like a translucent shade, but it is a really nice powder. I'm gonna use my Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel. So now for the lower lashes, I'm going to start off with the burgundy shade and I'm going to add some brown and black as well. Okay, then I'm going to dip into a little bit of the black, a little bit of the brown, top off the excess and add that there as well. So instead of doing like a pop of color on the waterline as far as like eyeliner, I think I'm just gonna use black just to keep it very smoky. And I'm just gonna use the ColourPop Swerve liner that I was using earlier. And of course, I'm gonna coat my lower lashes with some BFF mascara. Okay, now we can finish up the rest of the face. I'm gonna go in with the Physician's Formula and Whaley Collection. I used this again in my last video and I really loved it. I love Physician's Formula and their butter bronzers and highlighters and their butter blushes. It's a really great buttery formula. Definitely lives up to the name of it. So I'm gonna use this bronzer down here, which is their Sunset Bronzer, and I'm just gonna bronze the skin. Also, for those of you guys who don't follow me on my vlog channel or on Instagram, you definitely should. I think a lot of people don't know that I have a vlog channel, but it's always in my description box at all of my videos, but Hector and I did get the house, so we are super excited. There's still so many things that we have to do, but if you guys are interested in our empty house tour or like more house updates, definitely head over to my vlog channel and subscribe because I am gonna be posting lots of content there, which I'm super excited about because for a while, like I just didn't wanna vlog because like I didn't have anything like exciting or like new to talk about, you know what I mean? Like I always say this, but like my life is just not exciting. Like I do the same thing every week, every day. So it's gonna be like a nice change for you guys and for me as well to like see something different and have like a new chapter. So I'm excited about it. Lots of home decor vlogs and lots of, lots of good stuff. Side note, speaking of Juicy Jazz, 
to this day, I still do not like my username and I wish that I could go back in time to when I was in high school and change it. I just honestly never knew that like this was gonna be a thing, that I was going to be like that YouTuber, you know what I mean? But if I could go back, I would definitely change it. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, I knew, okay, I kind of did know what I was thinking. I just wanted something different. I didn't want to be like Makeup by Jasmine or Beauty by Jasmine because at the time there were so many channels that were starting to evolve with those names that I was like, okay, I need to stand out. So I was like, okay, let's do Juicy Jazz because I had like a Juicy Couture bag. And uh, my friend at the time, she called me Juicy Jazz. Like she would call me that like in school. I was like in ninth and 10th grade and it kind of just stuck with me and I just decided to name my YouTube channel that. I don't know if I'll ever change my YouTube name, to be honest, I don't know. I thought about it before, but I feel like at this point, that's kind of just like what people know me by. But I just don't like it because it's like when I'm talking to people and they're asking me what my username is and then I have to tell them it's Juicy Jazz. It's a little embarrassing to be honest because like, you know, I'm like grown. Like I'm not like 16 years old. You know what I mean? Like I'm literally going to be 24 and I'm like, um, it's not Juicy Jazz. They're like, what is it? Um, oh, here's my business card. And I just like give them a card. That way they don't have to say it again because it's like so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, I thought about changing it. Maybe, I don't know. I just feel like at this point, like, like I said, people just kind of know me by that. Like if you go on YouTube and you type in Juicy Jazz, like my videos come up and everything and I don't want to make my name, like if I change it, like unsearchable to the point where people can't find my videos or they're just like confused and they don't like it or something, you know? If I did change it, it would probably just be like Jazz and then um, Hector's last name, that's what I'm thinking. But I don't know, I probably won't change it anytime soon. Let me know what you guys think. Like, do you care about people's usernames? Like, is that a big thing? Okay, I'm gonna take this peachy blush right here, which is called Apricot, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer, which is the deep bronzer. It's just like super pigmented, so a little bit goes a long way. I hope they keep this palette like long term. This is really great. I'm excited to like keep using this, especially for like traveling and like spring and summer. Like I can see myself using this with like a 10 minute glam look, like just really simple and just like throwing this on the cheeks. It's really, really pretty. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with an Ofra highlighter. I love these. I've talked about them before. I talked about them in my yearly favorites. These are bomb, like the bomb diggity. Probably the best high-end formula ever. It's just so good. So this one's in the shade Blissful. It's just like a really pretty, almost like rose gold. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna use this brush from Shop Miss A. And I'm just gonna pop that right on the tops of the cheeks. I'm also gonna take that highlight and I'm gonna apply that in my inner corners. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. That like really just like brightens up the eyes. Like just that little pop makes a big difference. Now it's just a matter of setting spray. So I'm gonna do a little ABH Dewy Set setting spray. I'm about to put you guys on to like the best nude lip combo. Are you ready? Get ready. First, NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade London. I cannot get enough of these. I've been using the shade Sandstorm, which is a little bit more of like a brown, and this one's a little bit more of like, no, no, no. That one's a little bit more of like a cool tone. This one's a little bit more like brown, like peach. Then I'm gonna go in with the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dubai. This is like a really, almost like nude cement shade. Like it's really, really pretty though, like in the best way possible. It's super nude. It's gonna look a little crazy just cause it's so nude, but hold on. Now, go over top with this. The NYX Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Dante Days. This is another one of those products that I've been using in like every single one of my videos. I know I'm annoying, but like, this is so good. I just put it right over top. So it's really great because the NYX lipstick is great. It's just not super, super long wearing, but the Ofra liquid lipsticks are. So applying the NYX lipstick over top is not only gonna prolong the lip color even longer, but it's gonna just like alter the nude a little bit and make it a little bit more wearable. So that is my lip color. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm usually really into like a glossy lip, but I'm just like, I love it. Okay guys, so that is it for this one hour glam transformation. What do we think? 
Do we like the pink? I love the pink and I love how it matches this right here. It's like details, you know? Of course, I will leave everything that I mentioned down below in the description box if you guys are interested. And I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, just a wonderful weekend in general. And just know you don't have to have a significant other to celebrate the holiday. To me, Valentine's Day is about love. It could be loving your kids, loving your family, loving yourself. So go out, treat yourself, buy yourself some chocolate, and buy yourself that new maker product you've been eyeing because you deserve it. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys for everything. I love you all and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye.